and connect to the Theodore knot. Okay? Well, I'm going to take a hold of that, those four strands with my hand, and the base of my hand, the bottom of my hand, is going to be up against her jaw, up against these bones here. The first step to this is squeezing. That's asking her to back up. Okay? And I squeeze. The second step, I'm going to go side to side, and I'm going to wait till she backs up. The second she takes a step, I'll release, but I'll wait till then. There. Now, when you take a hold of these four strands and you squeeze and you're going side to side, we absolutely do not push our mules back. I'm going to say this, do not push your mules back, and half of you will, but we don't push them back. We're giving them a chance. This is one of the first little exercises that I like to use to let my mules figure out what I'm asking them to do, okay? So we, we'll squeeze the rope halter and we'll go side to side and I'll wait for her to take a step. Now, in the beginning when I'm teaching a new mule like this, I will completely let go. That way, the answer to the question I'm asking is crystal clear to her. She has no confusion on if that was the right, right thing to do or not. She knows, she says, oh, he let go, that must be the right thing. That way she'll learn. A lot of folks will keep hanging on to that. Well, that's kind of bad to do in the very beginning because you're not being quite clear with your animal. Just completely let go. Now back to why I was saying, why do we do thumb down? The first reason is just what I told you there, is you need to be able to get leverage on this halter. You need to be able to squeeze this, okay? And go side to side, okay? That's the first reason, for leverage, okay? It's easier to do this. The second reason, when I have it like this, now I, a little point here, I always use the hand of the side that, uh, that I'm on on the mule. So if I'm on the herd, Right now I'm on her left hand side. I'll use my left hand. I always face the direction I'm going. I'm facing backwards here. Okay, face that direction. Use the hand closest to the mule. And the same one that's on her same side. So left side, left hand. Make sense? Okay. And because of that, when I do that and I get a hold of this halter, I can block her nose. You see how you see how she couldn't she couldn't get her nose over my arm right here? You see that? Okay. If I have my thumb down, look at my arm now. See the difference? Thumb up. Here's thumb down. Here's thumb up. See the difference? Okay, you can block your nose. Now, everybody's always scared of their feet. How many of you are a little intimidated by a mule's feet or a horse's feet? How many? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. You all ought to be. <laughs> you should be scared of those things. Better learn about them. Anyways. Well, I tell you what, I've been knocked out more times by a mule's head than I have ever been kicked. Okay? This is a 150 pound sledgehammer. Okay? This thing can knock you out. And believe me, I have woke up many times right here going, whoa. So, use this arm. If she went to shove me with her head, and if my arm is right here, what's going to happen? I'm just going to get shoved out of the way, right? But if I'm like this, and she takes her head, nothing to block her, then your teeth are gonna look like mine, okay? So, and somebody said, well, your teeth don't look that bad. I'm like, of course they don't, they're fake. <laughs> they're not that bad. Anyways, so block yourself here. And then the last reason, just get your dumb thumb out of the way. When your thumb's up, notice how that knuckle on your thumb sticks up? You'll rub that raw. So just get that dumb thumb out of the way, okay? Thumb down. So like I said, you're going to take a hold of those four strands. You're going to squeeze it. That's asking the mule to step back. Now, if she was to move with me squeezing, she's about to, I'd release. If she didn't move with me squeezing, i go side to side. I saw back and forth, side to side. Everybody with me on that? But you do not pull back. You give your mule some, some options here. Let your mule's wheels turn. A lot of mules have never done that here. A lot of yours have always been forced to do this, 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 this. They've always, always been made to do something, and they've become robots. Let them have a little bit of freedom, okay? Let them choose. Let them puzzle and ponder, say, okay, what does he need? You know, let them choose some of these options here. Okay? Make sense? Okay, everybody give that a try.